Welcome to a new fragrance video. Today, I'm going to make a perfume with you. So I'm going to start with a disclaimer. It's not how you make perfume that I'm going to make them. It's just for fun. Um, I've got all those little bot bottle here. And basically, when I'm finishing a bottle, there's always like a little bit that you cannot really do anything with it. And I was thinking, why don't I just make a perfume out of all those bottles, see what it happens and all. So some of them are super dusty. I don't really know what will be the concentration in the end. I'll just do a little test, tell you what it smells like, and that's it. So the first bottle I will start with, because I want most concentration, is Embroxan, and it's kind of sticky. Embroxan is actually crystals, and I hope this video will be a bit instructive on different stuff as I'm having fun making those little perfume. Anyway, Embroxan is crystal, and the, the reason, not the reason it's crystal, I mean, that's how it is. It's like salt. You put salt in water, it dissolves. But the reason why people use crystals inside of perfume and it's not just Embroxan, there will be vanilla and for it. But anyway, crystals are really useful because it helps for the projection of fragrance. And Embroxan, basically, this is what it does. It makes the project, fragrance project more. Vanillin also. I wouldn't say that it's actually a crystal by itself, but uh, you know, oak moss is extremely thick. We call this, in French, it's uh, sucre crème, really, you know, like those little sugar square thing that it's kind of a dessert that you eat. It's pretty much the texture it has. But anyway, I'm starting with this one because it's the one that has a lot of crystal. I wanted to dissolve into it. And I, I put like 10 ml of pure ethanol. And there's a lot of people that say that uh, when a perfume has a lot of like ambergris smell, it's embroxen. And as it might be true that it, often it's embroxen, but there's a lot of stuff that create the smell of ambergris. So it doesn't have to be embroxen. It won't, will not always be embroxen. It's, I think most of the time it's not. It's more embroxen than maybe other stuff or maybe not even embroxen, though embroxen is useful in perfume. And there's a lot of perfume that has embroxen that you don't really think about it. One that has kind of a lot of embroxen for something you don't smell the embroxen out of it, it's a uh, Dracal Noir and it's one of the oldest perfume that uses a lot of embroxen. So if you look at it, there's maybe a little bit too much crystal there, but still you see it's diluted into the alcohol. And this is something that's one of the challenge in perfumery is that there's stuff that become hard at room temperature. I have bottles of Kashmirin that you probably already know. Like my bottle of Kashmirin is just always a trouble. It all crystallizes inside of the, the bottle all the time. And if you don't know Kashmirin, the biggest thing you're going to smell, or maybe not the biggest, but one of the biggest thing you're going to smell in Sauvage, that's what it is. So as I'm in this bottle, I'm going to add something else. I have a little other bottle here. It's a mix. It's all diluted in alcohol and dipropylene glycol. And basically it's stuff that helps the perfume stay longer and help it be less irritating for the skin, stuff like that. Usually I measure it, but now all my little pipette like this that have a graduation on it. I have no none less, so I'm just gonna take as much as I can in one and put it in it. Anyway, it's just like fun that thing, so it doesn't really matter. But if I would make an actual perfume, I'll make sure to have like proper amount of it. Now it's pretty much, there's still some bubbles that you will see because I just shaked it, but it's pretty much all diluted. And now it smells alcohol and embroxy. And that's what it is. Now to keep going with my little bottles like this, next one I will put so, put it in. I'm going to try not to make a mess. I haven't succeeded not to make a mess. And now the two bottle that I'm putting some into it, they are actually a cord. And basically, we always hear about notes, but there's something else that 
when you like perfume you need to like at least know about you don't need to but it's nice to is that there's a cord that are actually made in perfumery and this is what create perfume it's not the note by itself that are put together and an accord basically it's different things all together that make either a specific smell or like for example letter letter could be some stuff that is specifically smelling letter but it could be some stuff all together together makes an accord that smells like letter and a good example for that also it's um, amber amber it's not something that actually exists as an ingredient it's like imaginary note and it's made with different things and it does include vanilla and basically when you make a perfume you're making a dose accord either like a letter accord if you want that letter note but you can also make an accord with different things together and those things will make either a specific smell where you'll smell like everything together that won't really smell like any of the notes or you will make some specific note that you see like one note more prominent and some facet of the other notes it all depends how you make it so the end of the bottles the accord that i made and that i'm mixing into it there's amber and there's an ozonic accord and there's a fujai accord that i'm putting into the mix and other ingredients that are in perfumery are essential oils and there's a lot of people that talk about property of essential oil and now i'm gonna put some tsuya essential oil or it says white cedar on the bottle also and one thing that essential oil make is the first will smell more natural because it's natural but there i don't think there's like really property of like health benefit or anything even some people even though some people say it does but still it's there for the smell and that's it for me there might be like you know psychologically the smell will make you think or feel differently so it might have that kind of effect but it's not the essential oil it's any smell like lavender is relaxing whether it's essential oil or some synthetic smell that smells like lavender next thing i'm gonna mix it's black pepper essential oil and another thing in perfumery that is interesting to know is that there's blenders and blenders like for example black pepper essential oil is a blender it doesn't blender like doesn't have to be used as blenders is basically what it is is when there are some notes like that will make a gap will smell kind of weird the blender will kind of makes everything smells good together and black pepper is actually a good blender for citruses so if you see fragrance with a lot of citrus and some pepper it might be because a person that made it wanted to have a pepper smell but it might also be because a person kind of took a little shortcut and put some pepper smell into it to be sure that everything's good everything smells nice or maybe the mix couldn't be done without a blender because it would have smelled weird or anything next ingredient i'm gonna put it's patchouli essential oil and with patchouli essential oil i would add about another thing in perfumery which is fixative and basically fixative they make perfume smell good longer though it's not like a magical ingredient it's just that itself the fixative smells longer and they kind of mix with other stuff which make the other stuff smell longer and the good thing is that yeah fragrance smells longer a bad thing with fixative it is that it's changed the smell sometimes some fragrance you don't want some specific smell like let's say you don't want patchouli well if you'll have to find other kind of fixative sometimes you don't want any of the smell that has like a fixative and you're kind of stuck with having a fragrance that doesn't last long last ingredient i'm having here it's natural musk it's like from plant it's not the animal and i'm gonna add with with this i'm gonna talk a little bit about you know the fragrance they use a lot of different material and one of them is stuff that come from animal you probably know about musk of course you probably know about ambergris you might know about castorium about civet 
and there's other ingredients, but those are the most known. And something with those ingredients, especially with musk, is that uh, not, it's not good for the animal. Sometimes it needs to be killed to have those product. I know musk specifically made the animals almost extinct. And, and now it's, I don't know if it's illegal to kill them or something like that, whatever it's illegal or not, those animals are still in danger. So nowadays musk is not real musk. And you know, white musk is basically, it's musk that is not from animal and black musk is the one that come from animal. And, but it's nice to know, like those ingredients are really good in perfuming. They make a lot of the perfume. I would say that in modern perfumery, musk is the most used ingredient, but musk is many ingredient versus bergamot that is known as the most used ingredient is like one thing. You know, there's one bergamot and there's many musk. Now my perfume is now over. I don't know if it will smell strong or not. It will smell alcohol. I don't know the concentration. And this is not how you make it. I think one day I will make an actual perfume, maybe make a survey which note I should put and make a perfume. You think it could be a good idea? I'll make a perfume so just in this video, in one other video like that, on how to really make a perfume, make the accord and everything. So I don't have a spray, so I'm just dripping this into, uh, into the perfume. Another thing, now that I'm doing this, it's that uh, you don't really see it, but it's wet and I see the liquid and it will be soaked into it, so there's nothing really I can do about it. But when you spray on it, on your skin or on a paper, I would suggest you don't smell it right away because the alcohol is still strong and all the ingredients are still are still strong. And if you're just smelling it for fun, you put it and you want to smell, it doesn't matter. But if you go like in a store and you want to choose different perfume, if you smell it while it's still wet, it's it will be faster for you to become nose blind and not being able to smell more perfume. So if you wait, you just wait a little bit, like now it's dry. If you just wait a little bit, you'll be able to try more perfume more easily and not have all those smells mixed up. So as you can imagine, the mix is not nice. It smells, it smells woody. I would say the tuya is the most prominent note and it's really a powerful ingredient in uh, like to your essential oil it, it really appear in the perfume if you don't put much it's just fresh and a bit woody but if you put a lot it kind of overwhelm all the other ingredients especially in the, in the top notes before because it's more of a heart note and that's another thing with perfume when you make perfume there's many try that need to be done now it's just like the end of the bottle that are mixed together so doesn't really matter but it's something that you need to do you make the car you look what what's good you smell it and then you might have some modification that you want to do you might want to have some ingredients more present less present to do variation there's a lot of it that's trial and error not necessarily error but you mean i mean you need to try stuff to see which one is the best which option is the best i think it's like in life you need to try stuff to know what what works in your career, in your hobbies and everything you need to try and to see what works. So hope you enjoyed this video. If it's okay, case, will like and share. And also think, tell me what you think about it. I mean, hopefully it was useful for you or a little bit entertaining and a little bit educative. I will not make other like dumb perfume like this with my end of the bottle. It's one time deal, but I will definitely make some perfume one day that I'm talking about how how I'm making it, how to, to make a perfume. And I think I'm gonna make something that maybe you can do at home and have all the ingredients pretty pretty much easily to find. Gonna think about it and I'm gonna come back with this. So thanks for watching. See you soon.